Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Hermit A Pack from the Hermitcraft server. Guys, knowledge has just reached me ears that Exuma Void is stealing and copying our base design. Yeah, freaking copy stealer, freaking guy. So I have reinstalled my door. I, th there's been a lot of comments saying, hey, Eskal, install your, your shield door. So there we go. <laughs> it's back. He can no. So I was here doing some crafting and stuff for today's episode. He, he kept running, running back and forth, and I was like, "What? What are you doing?" Turns out he was streaming and copying my base. Yep. X. That's not cool, man. No, that's all right. <laughs> the best. Compliment you can get is someone imitating. Isn't that how we say it? Okay, so if you remember last time, we did get the Iscalium, right? Where is the processed one? Did I put it in here? That's the fake one, I think. Processed, there we go. There it is. Uh, and I tried to destroy, destroy Diorite with it. Now, I've done some research since then. And apparently, if we do this, this is slowly going to destroy this diorite. So I just want to put this up here and we'll come back and check it later and see if this diorite is gone. Hopefully it is. It's very very disgusting to hold this diorite here. Uh, we need a diorite destroyer and uh, Iscalium may not be as good as I thought he was. I told Wintergrave as well that he needs to make the gun destroy diorite because that's apparently the plan. Uh, was the plan from the beginning. Okay, so for today, I want to head over to the new place. I haven't seen your feedback yet, by the way. I have to, unfortunately, I have to backlog because I'm going on business trip again. Um, but I haven't seen your feedback yet. But I want to head over there today and do do start doing some base work. That I'm super excited. Uh, just get some infrastructure up, you know, make the make the place even more gorgeous. I'm I'm I can't freaking wait. Uh, but. First things first, I want to build a little bit more on this. So I've been walking around my base and looking at what we created and it's freaking gorgeous. It's so beautiful. That's the steel blocks. Holy crap, they go well. And that was like a last minute thing that I did last episode. Uh, but now that I think about it, let's just try this. I've, I've crafted up a crap ton of painted gloss. <laughs> painted gloss of fake Iscalium. Um, But now that I think about this, maybe... That die right there is gonna get get killed. Maybe it's not good to have them this close together because of the lighting, right? Yeah, I think we want to leave them maybe a little bit uh, more in between so that we get dark spots and then this is truly glowing up the room. So what I'm thinking here, this here is a leak. As we know, this is a leak. The rest of these are contained Iscalium ore. Uh, and maybe we even want to install some kind of glass Oh, hello, hold on. What happens? Just out of curiosity, this is gonna kill the light. But I just wanna see how beautiful this looks. If we would have dark glass... Oh no, that... <laughs> that looks cool, but it's not right. We'd have to have a space in between. That is cool. Okay, the slab does not work if we would go with this, but holy crap, that's gorgeous. So the light is contained with it. It looks so toxic at the moment. The light is contained within the glass. Wow. Okay, let's just get these there as well. So we get a little bit of depth. Wow. Come on now, baby. Come on now. <laughs> oh. The only problem with this is that it's not going to light up the room. And I was kind of thinking that these should be light sources of the room. But wow, okay, that means that we could place one here uh, as well. We, we could have one this close. Whew. Okay, while I do this, while I dig this out, I just want to say a big thank you to all of those of you who are, well, to all of you. you. You're amazing. You're unbelievable. At the moment, the channel is going great and I get to play more and more Minecraft, which is, it's always been a dream of mine. Stupid Dyra, get out of my face. It's always been a dream of mine to play a lot of Minecraft because it's such an amazing game. Come on now. Anyone would agree with that. Okay, I'm going to mix in some of this as well, by the way. Um, uh, seeing that like... Hmm, what if we would place this in the background? Yeah, that's better. Okay, that's better. We don't have to hold back with this Iscalium stuff. We have uh, how we have unlimited amounts of glowstone because of our witch farm. And yeah, we don't, we don't have to hold back, basically. I think... This, no, hold on, the, it's only the processed uh, Iscalium that turns it into cobble, so we may want to change 
some of these to cobble an andersite. Okay, so what I was gonna say was, uh, thanks everybody, of course, for your amazing support and liking the videos. Apparently, YouTube have changed their ways of promoting videos these days uh, into, instead of watch time, which used to be the thing, so the longer you watch my video, the better it is. Uh, instead of that, it's now changed back to the old ways, which was apparently, and I didn't know this because I'm I'm a freaking I'm a freaking YouTube noob. Uh, but, but apparently, the more you you hit the like button or dislike button, don't do that though. That hurts my face. But the more you hit that button, the better uh, growth my channel will get for for other people finding us here. So if you want to support, then you you keep doing that. But what I was really gonna say, thank you for like or sorry for like baiting. <laughs> I'm a freaking idiot, I know. I'm sorry. I'm gonna get hate for that now. That's what people do. Some people are like, you know what? I'm gonna dislike now. Anyway, um, ooh, other blocks could work. Anyway, what I was gonna say from the beginning, let's rewind. Hi. Uh, I was gonna say thank you specifically to all of you who have been waiting for my Iskal Patreon loot crates. Those of you who have gone to my Patreon and subscribed for my, for my loot crates. September's and August loot crates are now shipped and have reached every single one of you, I believe, uh, since a few days. Since a few days. So what happened was, I went with a different supplier, so from the beginning I got scammed. Most of you should know this because I wrote it on Discord. Uh, I got scammed by a company that I ordered some stuff from. And... I had to save up some more money uh, because it was a lot of loot, loot crates and then repurchase all the stuff from a different supplier. And now it works. So now the loot crates are up and running. They should now be monthly, which is amazing. I'm working on a collector uh, collector card idea that I have the, where you can collect Iskalium uh, or sorry, Iskal super collecting cards because I'm, I'm such a freaking nerd. Um, and yeah, I just want to... What, want to take your time and say thank you so much for all of those who, who are believing in the whole loot crate thing. I think it's a super fun thing personally and it's not a money thing. I'm, I don't earn any money off it. I'm, I'm uh, breaking even uh, and, and that's the whole point. The point is to just create something uh, real fun for everybody and not make it too expensive. Okay, how are we, how are we liking this idea? I, I... The dark glass does a lot of cool things with my eyes right now. Wow! Try copy that, Exuma! Try copy that! That's it. Uh, my goodness. Okay, you know what? Get out of here, stupid witch. I'll life leech back. Yeah, I'll life leech back, stupid idiot. Where's your cat? There's the cat. I freaking hate these things. These are actually very dangerous. I like this though. I really, really like how it glows behind the dark glass. I think I want to keep it that way. Um, maybe for lights. Is there anything we can do up here? I may have got an idea here for something in regards of lighting. Okay, we're going to take this thick glass from Chisel and slab it. Yeah, that's right. And then slab it again. Uh, this is from Chisel and Bits, by the way. You can obviously do it with your chisel, but this saw... Yeah, it makes perfect slabs and, and half slabs. So check this out. Oh, can, oh no, I have to hold shift. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Can I put... Oh, there we go, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, check that out. Iscalium powered lights. I freaking like it. I like it. I don't know if... It looks a little bit weird not popping out. Let's do another one here. Let's let's uh let's go into crafting and let's gra grab ourselves a few more of these. Okay. And then I did <laughs> I I just placed that randomly. Let's go maybe uh do I have any blocks that I can break? 1 2 3. Okay? And then start here. This is the weirdest way of measuring anything. <laughs> Let's do that and turn on night vision so we can see what we're doing. Okay, boom, boom, boom. Yeah, like that. Okay, and get rid of this because this is uh, annoying me at the moment. Oh, crap. It shouldn't. It's not good if it lands on the conveyor belts. The other hermits have been whining that my base is lagging, so I have to shut off my machines all the time. It's not freaking lagging. Get better computers, nerds. <laughs> no. I'm sorry. I, I'll, I will look into it. Uh, okay. What about that? What about that? Look at that! And that gives off the perfect amount of lighting 
to not ruin anything. Maybe, maybe we make one big one in the center here. And there we have it. It looks weird. It does. <laughs> It looks a little bit... I put this thing in the middle there, and I I don't know. I I don't think it's bad, but it's it's lacking something. I I think... Uh, let's just try some things here. Some steel fans. What if we do something like this to break it up? I think it's this hard border between the gray and the black, though. Uh, yeah, that adds a little bit of character. As we say, character... What about doing a whole row? <laughs> now it's now it's weirder. Now it's weirder. Stupid freaking thing. Uh, okay, so what if we? Here, here's another thing. I found a gorgeous block in basalt. I don't know. This is could be. This could be the bridge between. Yeah. Okay. Let, let's try this. If we grab this, let's try and replace all of this black stuff. Who has decided? That we need to have black ceiling here. I didn't. I surely didn't. There, it was someone else. That there is, is is very ugly though. Holy crap, that's bad. That's so bad. Okay, but can we find something else that grayish? That is grayish. We're using this for the floor, the zag thing. Um, we're using that down there, and I I I, I like it. Yeah, that did it. Look at that. Oh, that is so gorgeous. So, so, the thing is, the black thing was there, I'm pretty sure the Blaze, the factory manager, by the way, uh, from Survival Stories 2, he died. This is Blaze Jr., his kid. If you didn't see the series, this does, this, <laughs> this doesn't make any sense and there's something wrong with me, but, but Blaze, he was the man who chose Blaze Jr., he, he decided to have black, and I think he said the reason he wanted to have it black here was so that it's not very visible. This gives it uh, that same effect. It's not visible because we have this frame border. So we can still have it black here, breaking it up. Which I like. I like that a lot. I think that looks fantastic. Uh, I also, I'm also going to remove this thing here. Uh, this lever. I want to switch this over. You remember a few episodes ago, I said that I had a grand plan. Based on all of your uh, suggestions and stuff. Uh, for a little bit of a control room over there. Check it out, guys. I did some more stuff off camera. I got both sides up. And I gotta say, it's kind of spooky in here. It feels like some kind of ghost snot or something. But I love it. I really, really... I hope that you guys love it as well. I really hope you love it. Because this... <clears throat> this is next level factory right here. Or castle or space state. Whatever. I put the lights down here instead of having them underneath here like I did before. Uh, yeah, I think that's better. Because it's kind of lighting up the conveyor belts now as well. Anyway, I found a recipe, guys. We gotta do this. Let's go upstairs. Also, we should check on our diorite. How's how's the di... Yeah. It's, it's getting destroyed. It's very slow, though. It's very slow. But this Kalim is doing some work. This is like two and a half, three hours maybe since we placed it. Okay. Anyway, uh, I found a recipe that I didn't know. You take glowstone and sand in the alloy smelter. And that will create enlightened clear glass. Which is light glass. Oh, it, crap. <laughs> which is glowing glass. You know that yellow glass that we use uh, a lot. That glows. That's really not the main reason I use it. I use it because it has a nice, like, blurry tint to it, right? Um, but this here may be an alternative. I think this is completely clear, though. Let's let's try it out, actually. Boom, boom. Yeah, it's completely clear, but it does glow. And that's good. That's really good. Now, what you can do with this, if I'm right, is that you can also paint it. Let's, let's do that, and let's grab some ink. I gave some ink to XB the other day, by the way. He said, hey, is anyone, does anyone on the server have a ridiculous amount of ink? He's clearly not watching the videos, is he? Because, yeah, we have an ink ink killer, don't we? <laughs> well, he got, he got 5,000 ink and I regenerated that in like 10 minutes. Uh, anyway, yeah, the reason I want this glass is because I want to work on Blaze's control room right here. As I was saying, um, and I've been thinking a little bit about block choice. I think we may use this failed roof um, basalt because it does go well with all the grace that we have 
Uh, and then I wanted a window here. That's why I came up with this glass. Uh, maybe we'll go with the glowing yellow glass though, because it adds that nice yellow line and it adds the nice tint. Uh, but maybe not. We'll see. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's a good measurement. <clears throat> uh, it doesn't need to be big in here. And let's plop this down. And now let's turn off night vision. Oh, I like that black line. That that looks good. I like that. And then we'd wrap it down here. And I'm out of blocks. <laughs> Amazing. Freaking running out of blocks all the time. Running back and forth. We should really invest in in a in a wireless grid thing. Uh, okay, so like that. Yeah, I think that looks good. It's a little bit weird. The basalt texture is a little bit weird. But I think we can make it work. This could be an option. These are the steel blocks. Oh, that could be an option. I don't necessarily like the whole plating thing though. But that's not bad. I think if we, if we remove <laughs> the glass that we just made... And let's try with dark glass instead, that doesn't give off light, uh, there. Then I think this may work even better. Oh yeah, Etho is online as well at the moment. Um, maybe we'll try the beam gun on him, on him if we have time today. But I keep running into the issue that my videos keep running out of time. Okay, yeah, let's try this actually. Uh, and let's build out a little room. I just want to have a light source behind here and see what happens. Okay, let's see how this looks. I put up a wall with a light source, but it, it does leak through at the moment. But I think that could give a really cool effect now that I think about it. It's either this or the, I think this is better. I honestly think this is gonna be better. Um, it's a little bit sad that this is on the same line. We could push it back here, I suppose, but that will, that will take up more space um, and maybe not... Uh, completely necessary like <clears throat> we could have this frame going wrapping it like that right uh, but no I, I think this is fine for floor here I was thinking maybe we'll go with a wood floor you know make it a little bit upgraded uh, or we could go with this stuff here the scaffolded floor yeah I like that it gives it a little bit of a homey feel uh, okay from below yeah that looks cool that looks very cool Oh, I find, found something that may be better than the steel blocks. These are... What are these? Steel sheet metal. <laughs> that may be better. That looks more like a, a worker's... Uh, one of those uh, uh, containers. <laughs> Conta I'm a freaking idiot. Containers that the workers live in. I like that. Okay. Yeah, let's go with let's go with that just to differ it up here a little bit. And I forgot my dark glass. There's one issue that I'm having with this um, uh, with the floor here, and that is the light is seeping through because it's not a full block. Remember, it's just scaffolding. Um, so maybe that's not an ideal situation. I realize it's very dark in here. I can't even see anything. Freaking thing. Okay, <laughs> this room is gonna be all about light placement though. Uh, but if I place a torch there. Now check this out, from outside that torch is not going to affect the outside, however because of the floor it's kind of seeping through here and that's not good. We may want to reconsider the floor. But anyway, this wall maybe will mix in some of these. Oh baby, yeah, 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 now we're talking. Holy crap, I love steel. I'm so happy I made you Steel Machine of Doom. No, that's the Super Pooper of Doom. Steel Machine of Doom. I'm so happy I made you. Gotta protect you from that uh, pouring scallium there, though. That's that's dangerous, man. All right, check out Blaze's home <laughs> or control center. Now this, now this is starting to look really cool. Okay, <clears throat> so the next thing I wanted to bring you along. I just finished the room. I dug out a little bit more because the the whole factory floor is gonna continue. Uh, down this way here, but uh, now I want to bring you in. I, I, let's create a control dashboard. So we want a control dashboard per machine. Now down there, I, I believe this is the, is this the super poop? This is the super pooper. Okay, maybe we'll hook this one up first actually because I, I need to start producing steel again. I've created these conduit facades painted with the light steel block. I think they are going to work out the best. And then... We're going to have one of these breaker switches and I'm going to use screens and I was thinking since we have a window here, maybe we'll put a, a, an indication screen up there and I don't even think we should make it transparent like we usually do. Maybe we'll keep it like that. 
Uh, and then what we need to do is we need to hook that lever up all the way to... Uh, actually, no, we don't, we don't need to do that. This is modded. There's a wireless transmitter here somewhere that I placed. There we go. Yeah, we need this thing. This thing is already hooked up to the... Ah, oh, crap. My inventory. I've done some stuff. I, let me show you in a second. Okay, I've done some chisel and bitting here in between uh, cutscenes. Configurator works like a champ. Thanks, Iskal got me out of a bind. Fantastic. Yeah, um, Ether ran into the mechanism cable issues. And apparently, if you use the uh, mechanism tool, whatever, if you guys remember, we had this issue last episode, right? If you use the mechanism tool thing, then you can make it work. Oh, why is that glitching a little bit there? Yeah, so it turns out that this thing is glitching through the conduit facade there. That's okay, I'm not gonna bother with that. Uh, so let's do that, and then what we gotta do is we gotta take the transmitter, which is already connected over there, um, and I don't know where we're gonna hide this. Maybe we'll do... Yeah, hold on. Let, maybe we'll draw a power cable all the way over... Ah, oh, there isn't any space... <laughs> there is no space to hide things. Ender IO is such a gorgeously good mod. Check this. I didn't know this, but apparently we can even use these as conduit facades, the wireframe stuff. That's very, very cool. Okay, I want to make use of this border here as well. So we're going to do something like that for the dashboard. And then underneath here, um, I may, maybe we'll make... Yeah, maybe we'll just keep some steel blocks down here. That makes sense. That makes it so that the, the dashboard is kind of installed. Okay, so from there, look, look at that. The cable comes out of nothing. I love these kind of facades. Okay, so I made, I made these, and these we can cover up here, pulling this thing all the way down into the floor. And then we'll have to make like a little room down here. And there we go. Perfect. Okay, now we're going to use a redstone module. And I think, yeah, we right click that. I think that's how we do it. I can't, I can't freaking remember. Uh, and then we insert that into the screen just by right clicking it in. But we're going to need a screen controller too. All right. I wonder if the uh, screen controller will reach all the way from down here. So I'm underneath everything. I did a transceiver there. Scan. Yes. Okay. Fantastic. Because then we can use the same controller for all the screens and we don't have to bother with the ugly texture of it. Sorry, Android, but that's not that's not the best texture you've ever made. Okay, anyway, so here we can now go and and make this super cool using text modules. We can do steel machine, uh, balls of steel was what I called the episode, but I think steel machine. Oh, hmm, steel. All right, we'll have to do something like this. It's not the best looking thing ever, but let's try this out. So if I pull this, and there we go, it's on. Okay, did that also turn on the machine? Yes, there we go. Look at that. Oh, that's a cool switch. I love it. Off, on. I love these screens. Okay, so I got some ideas for what to do with this dashboard as well, or this little thing here. I'm thinking The Simpsons. I'm going to I'm gonna go crazy and chisel in bits. But I want to show you a few things that I've done here. Uh, someone, someone suggested this, and I thought it was unbelievably funny. Let's first... I made some tables... Maybe we'll have some tables along that wall. I also created a laptop. Yep, freaking laptop. There, nice. Okay, maybe we'll move this forward, actually. Hold on. Uh, boom, boom, boom. Chisel and Bits is such an awesome mod. Look at that laptop. It's handmade by Iskal. Look at it. And they even got the Iskal sign on the back. Yep. Okay. <clears throat> also, I, ma I made for Blaze a custom-made little coffee cup. cup. Uh, can I not? Can okay, I can't place it there. I kind of wanted to place. It's 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 big. It's a big coffee cup. That's that's not how we place it, is it? That's silly. Hold on. There we go. Okay, it's a big coffee cup, but you know, Blaze is a big man. I I, I actually don't know if he's a big man, but that's gorgeous. Okay, and then someone suggested, as I was saying, someone suggested that we should have a coffee maker in here or a coffee machine, uh, and I, I love that idea. Do we place it in the middle like that, and then as you get in, there's a coffee maker? We I think we need power and water and stuff for this thing, though. Oh, there's another coffee mug model. I could have just copied that, I guess. Um, 
or do we place it over here? The thing is, I'm planning for the machines on this side, we're going to have a, uh, another dashboard here. Let's actually put that up so that we see what we're doing. Boom, boom, boom. Like that. Um, and a lever in the middle or a switch. Oh, I tell you one thing though. These are amazingly hard to place uh, correctly. There we go. Um, yeah, that's not bad. Oops. <laughs> that's not bad to have the coffee machine there. It's dangerously close to that laptop though. Maybe spilling things here, Blaze. Now check this out, folks. Whew, I did. Okay, so this is the next freaking morning. I sat all night, well, all evening, and, and I was chill playing, and, and uh, I did some chisel and bit stuff for Blaze. Uh, we got a gauge board, or gauge, gauge board, I don't even know how to say it. We got this thing, this is not a, a Game Boy, this is not a, this is a nuclear thing that you have to control things with. Obviously, it's just for, just for show. Over here, by the super pooper, Blaze has got a sample of a super poop box. <laughs> I made another coffee cup as well, and I moved the coffee machine to over here. It doesn't look like much, but this took me a while, and also, look at the lights. Some, some escalium powered lights in here. And this is without night vision, by the way. I also added these pipes. However, they seem very glitchy. Like, they just disappear weirdly. Uh, I ordered these pipes here. Rando came over and checked this out last night. We were on TeamSpeak. And wow, he was like blown away. He said, Iskal, you've done it again. You've freaking done it again. I'm so happy with this room. It looks really good. Um, but he said that we should do something like this. Now, these pipes are, are not connected to anything. Um, but yeah, I agree. That gives us a little bit of depth. You remember, we spoke about how flat the walls look. Um, and this gives it a little bit of depth. I like that. Uh, <clears throat> unfortunately, you can't, like, attach these, I don't think. Let's actually... Yeah, yeah, let's grab our hammer. Let's just try. Can we do... No, we can't do anything. Okay. Um, so, guys... I call this building done for today. Uh, Blaze has got a home. We gotta get a Blaze though. The only problem I'm having is, and maybe you guys can help me figure this out. When I when I activate my my spawner here, so if I if I have it on, now remember this spawns pigmen, zombie pigmen. That causes social spawning to happen even in here, even where my thing bans zombies from spawning. That's a big issue if Blaze Jr. is a villager. <laughs> that's a big issue. Maybe you guys know how to fix that. We could install like a shield here, but that's not going to help. They're going to spawn anyway. And I don't want to light up the place. I mean, it's look at this. We don't want to light this up. This is gorgeous right now. Um, so if you have any suggestions on that, please do let me know. Um, but anyway... <clears throat> as you can see in the top left hand corner, we've got an email. Or not an email, we've got a post mail. And I believe I know what this is. Etho yesterday offered to make me an exchange road from Botania. Where's my mailbox? It's over here. Okay. I haven't seen this though. But I, yeah, it's from Etho. I gave him, so I gave him some iron. He needed some iron and I sent him some iron. And then he, he said that he would create this for me. Let's pop this bad boy. It was been a while since we got a letter. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks for the irons. <laughs> irons? <laughs> Oh, freaking idiot. Use this to change the world. Uh, my mama told me the same when she gave me two legs and a brain. Use this to change the world. Okay, so this, I think, is the same as the swapping one we have. But I think this is more convenient. Uh, let's try this out. Um, and of course, like, this is magical. So, you know, we, we haven't got to magical yet. Let's put, the, let's put our ring on. Yeah, that will give us mana. Oh, yeah, you can see down here, over under my sixth thing, that gives us mana. And we can recharge that. Well, we can only recharge it in Ethos base because we haven't got it yet. Oh, look at this. It's still one freaking diorite left, though. I don't know what to do about that. Okay, okay, so say I want to change this out. I, I've i never used this before, but the other way is you shift right click there. Yes, okay, and then... Yes, baby. Okay, I like that more than the swapping one that we have. I think that had a cooler effect. And it seems to have a pretty big area. This is more like the Tomcraft one. Um, the original and best. However, can I can I somehow change the scale? Bet there's a button somewhere. Well, so that's really cool. Okay. So he got some iron from us. However, 
I feel this gift is worth more than a stack of iron blocks, which is what I gave him. Yeah, so check this out. Whilst I was busy, I created the laptop. I think I showed you that on camera. The, uh, the Iska laptop, right? I'm going to send him one of those for his, uh, stud for his studies. And also what I did was that I created a penguin. For me, Chisel and Bits, I can just sit and do and play with this mod for air. Look at this guy! <laughs> He's brilliant! This is just one block space as well. I can sit and play with this freaking mod forever. And I know that Etho loves penguins. Uh, and, and I also happen to know that there are gonna be penguins in, in this in this pack soon. Um for Etho. But until then. A little bit of a penguin statue for him to decorate things with. So we're gonna send him this mail, uh, and I think he will be really happy about it. And there we go. Mom always told me I could change the world. I never believed her until now. Here be a laptop for your study and a Linux for OS. Uh, <laughs> Linux because Linux has a, has a penguin as their operating system. Yeah, let's ship him this. Okay, we need. Oh, holy crap! We need three stamps for that. Maybe can we? Yeah, maybe we should also send him some extra iron, uh, just because I know that he's in need. And oh, we haven't received coffee from him, so maybe we can bait him into sending more coffee if we send him redstone. Let's see if that... Oh no, that's too much. Okay, let it, we'll, we'll have to just do that. These, these freaking letters, they are they're weak. Okay, so let's post that. Boop. Like a zo. Now, now, there you go, Etho. Thank you so much for this uh, rod of the shifting crust. Alright, so I know I said in the beginning of this video, right, that we would go over to the magical base today. And that was originally the plan. I was only gonna do this wall here, but I got, I got freaking carried away. And I gotta say, I'm glad I did. Because we've created something beautiful here today, and now it's the time as well. I'm gonna ban these freaking wither witches that keep spawning. Uh, but yeah, we've created something beautiful today. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. I hope you guys like it, because this is the st this is us. This is us, man. This is what we do here. This is what we do, and I think this is absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely fantastic. If you did, you have to make sure to give a big like button down below. Uh, give like rating. You know that uh, I said earlier in the video that YouTube has now switched, so likes are super important to get recommended and to get views and, and to for my videos to be visible in your start page and stuff, so if you did enjoy it, take your time and hit that little button there. I'm sorry for freaking baiting, but we have to do this if YouTube changed the game, you know? Um, anyway. <laughs> That's gonna do it for today, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so I have some amazing ideas for the magical place, by the way. So we'll head there next time. Maybe we'll do a back-to-back, -back, even, because I feel like playing some modern Minecraft right now. Maybe I'll do a back-to-back. -back. We'll see. But thanks again a million for watching and supporting. Give me some feedback and comments down below. Have a fantastic evening, and I'll see you in the next episode.